Awesome. All right, now what I'd like you to do is evaluate the indicated function for f of x equals x squared plus 1 and g of x equals x minus 4. Now what we're going to do is multiplication. So what we have to remember um, for functions when we have f times g of x, that's going to equal f of x times g of x. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two functions, I'm going to multiply that, them, and then I'm going to evaluate them for 6. So it's going to be x squared plus 1 times x minus 4. So now it's going to go back to our binomial days of multiplying binomials in algebra 1. But there's many different ways you guys can do. Um, so we'll do first x squared times x becomes x cubed. Okay, And then we'll do the inside and plus x. Side, which would be a negative 4x squared, and then we'll do the last, which would be negative 4. So therefore, f times g of x equals that, and then now when I want to go ahead and evaluate that for 6, f times g of 6, now you're just going to plug in your 6 into your um, equation. So I have 6 cubed plus um, 6 minus 4 times 6 squared minus 4. So that's f of g of 6 equals 6 cubed to be 6 times 36, which anybody please help me out. 216, thank you very much. Plus 6. 4 times 36 would be 36 times 36 would be 72, so it would be 144. All right? Plus 6 minus 144 minus 4. So then let's go. We got 222 minus 148. So therefore, my final solution is going to be some way I don't want to think right now. Send for it. Thank you very much. So, as far as the process goes, evaluate the indicated function. You have your f of x and your g of x. You just make sure, you guys, you follow the process. It's multiplication. You make sure you multiply them, and then evaluate for your term. And then after that, you evaluate <coughs> for your term and do your basic math to get your end. So that's how you evaluate the indicated function for f of x and g of x.